Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about three item properties item display name, item name, and item key. These properties are very closely related. In fact, item key is just the lower case of item name. But I'd like to pay special attention to item name and display name. Now, item name is used in Sitecore for constructing the content structure and the URL. So if we look at the content editor, I'm logging into Sitecore 8.1 right now, and look at the default home item that comes pre-installed with uh, Sitecore on the default instance, we can see that the item name for the home item is home, and the item path is constructed from item names. So we see Sitecore content home, now we have a child of the home item called <laughs> ASD, very imaginative. And so the path to the ASD item will be Sitecore content home ASD. And if we check that, that's exactly what it is. So item names are used for constructing the path and the URL. The URL for the ASD item is always relative to the home item. So starting with a home item, the URL for the ASD would be slash ASD. For the child of the ASD item, it would be slash ASD slash for slash child items name. So that's how the item name is used. Now, item name being used for the URL and some other things uh, forces Sitecore to create a setting called invalid item characters. There is a number of characters that we're limited by, and we, there are certain characters that cannot be used in item names without being encoded. Let's say, for instance, in URLs, um, otherwise we might run into all sorts of issues. So Sitecore decided to stop us from shooting ourselves in the foot and created the list of invalid um, item character names. Now, unfortunately, that list includes some of the common special characters that were used in normal day-to-day -day typing. Let's say apostrophes. Uh, columns, semicolons. Now, even though most of the item names will not include any of the special characters, there are some cases that we'd like to include one. So, for instance, if we wanted to create a new item and call it Sitecore Rocks, oops, and even, th even though it does, <laughs> it doesn't let us create um, an item name with that. Um, special character that's that's uh, because of the exclamation point at the end. So if we remove this exclamation point, it goes through just fine. Now, developers try to solve this problem in in many ways. Uh, you know, starting from customizing the list of invalid characters by removing, just simply removing characters from it, which is dangerous. By the way, there's a reason why they're there. Um, to doing some trickery by customizing some Sitecore functionality, listening for Sitecore save, edit, uh, update, move events, and things like that to uh, uh, customize the way Sitecore handles special characters. Now, what I suggest doing, and the recommended practice in this case, is in fact using the display name. Sitecore provides display name for cases exactly like this to increase the usability. Display name does not have any limitations for uh, special characters. So we can name, we can put whatever we want in the display name, and that is what will be used in the content editor. That is what Sitecore content editors will see when they navigate through the content tree, is the display name. In fact, what you're seeing right now in the content tree, the structure on the left side, this is created from display names, not from item names. By default, when you create an item, Sitecore gives the same name to the display name property, and this is what's shown in the content tree. So the reason why we wanted the special character there in the, in the first place is to make it more readable for content editors. So now we can do that by modifying the display name. So if we had to do that manually, we would go to the home ribbon, uh, rename chunk, click on the display name button, and rename the item by adding some maybe extra exclamation points. Great, now notice that the item name hasn't changed. 
Cycle Rocks. However, the display name, we now get a different note saying that the display name is different here. Now, this is the manual process. Uh, there's a way to automate this, and what I would suggest doing is creating a Cycle Custom rule that would inspect the item name on creation and if it finds any special characters it'll clean it up for the item name but keep e exactly the same uh, unchanged for the display name. That can be done automatically using the Sitecore um, rules engine which is a very powerful feature of Sitecore and uh, very user friendly because it's uh, accessible by Sitecore administrators under the system node right here. Now this is great for content editors. Now we found a way to make item names uh, more user friendly. However, for developers, this could get very confusing. Now, if we added some special characters, that's not a big deal. Oh, let's see here. However, if we call this some other name, and as a developer, if I look at the content tree and try to reference this item by its path, and remember item names are used in the path, I would assume that the con I, I could assume that the content editor simply added some exclamation points to the display name, and the item name is really some other name. However, in fact, the item name is still Psycho Rocks. Now, for developers to eliminate this type of confusion, what I suggest doing is going to content editor settings and modifying the property that Sitecore uses, the content editor uses to display the content tree. And instead of using the display name, set this to item key. And we'll give it a second to reload. And let's go ahead and take a look at our item again. And there we go, Sitecore rocks. So there, will, there is no room for confusion here. So use display names in the content editor for content authors and for non-technical users. For developers, switch the content editor to use the item key in the content structure. So there you go. Uh, hopefully uh, you found this video useful and you recognize the uh, reason behind using the display name in your solutions. And again, my name is Vasily Fomichev and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, add comments with uh, perhaps ideas for future videos, likes, um, and uh, for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com, and I will see you next Friday. Over and out.